Hello everyone. Today we are going to unbox this box of Samsung notebook NP305A0 and uh, mind it, this is the India version that we are going to unbox. So things might turn a little bit different if you are staying in some other country, but this is the India version basically. So about to unbox it, uh, another box of it. You can unbox this box now right now. And it's a pretty decent model with a configuration of around NP, uh, around AMD FR and dual core E450 processor. And it has also got an AMD Vision graphics card. Nice boxing. Okay, low. First thing that we have out here is the back. Okay, we'll deal with this later for main things. And. Um, we have the this thing. Okay, so we have a system recovery disk. This one comes with Windows Vista Home Basic Edition preloaded and the documents and the warranty card with it. So put this aside as well. And uh, now, we, now we get out with the get the main things out. That is charger and the battery in this. And the battery is actually a little heavy, but Overall the laptop is quite light. I mean at 1.2 kg you're not getting another laptop this light in this class. So these are the main things. Put them inside. Okay, let's have a look at the bad ones just for a moment. It seems like a nice decent bag to me. Oh and it, oh okay. It has a strap with it as well. So you can basically strap it. Some may say it is a bit of feminine design, but sounds and looks good to me. Now we get the main main hero out of the box. The cat is out of the box now. Hmm, nice grab, nice packaging, I should say. Got myself a blue one because uh, I was not really getting other colors in the market though I really have to, but I preferred black. You can see that it has got very nice chrome finish with it. And really, the thing this reflects back. Though I'd have, I'd have liked this blue color much more in the complete face of this nice chrome finish. Uh, but that's just wh where the blue color is limited to. Okay, and now this is the open portion. Let's remove this thing. So there you can see. Okay. This is basically pretty much the laptop. It's pretty much the thing. And uh, you can see that it has got nice chiclet keyboards, AM division processor, and all that stuff. Pretty uh, nice looking, decent stuff. Nice crew for the batteries. We'll just come back with this. So, uh, what you can see basically here is that keyboard is quite nice, chiclet style. Um, what you will get in the other editions that the enter key will be a little differently designed. What was really, what really amused me was this the LAN key, LAN port. You can basically turn it out. They have made it this way, you can plug it inside. I mean, you can push it in and thin it out. So, the base is quite thin actually. Screen as well. The screen has a very nice look, decent look. And the camera is 1.3 HD cam, as they say it. Though I haven't really checked out the quality, camera quality yet. And the card reader is placed uh, right here. Card reader is placed right here. You can just slip it out like this, and oh, this thing comes out. And uh, about this, we got two USB ports right here and one in here. It's got Wi-Fi, three indicators in here, three indicators in here for the Wi-Fi, caps lock and uh, num lock and charging and power indicators are here. Mic has been placed here and you can see that the mouse pad is quite long. 
the, the left and the right keys have been quite well uh, spaced out so that you don't get confused between them or there is no uh, marking to separate them and the touchpad is smooth very easily can you know, move your fingers along there and the keys are in stubby as well so you are in front of some really good mouse thing uh, which you don't really get in some of the other laptops in this class like in the Asus laptop especially uh, so that's pretty much the laptop I actually researched quite a lot before buying this one I was considering the Sony YB as well but the windows uh, started thing put me off because it's quite basic and it does not have anything much okay, and now we'll put inside the battery just to see how it feels just to see how the whole thing feels with uh, the battery as a part of it uh, mind you the battery is quite bulky almost uh, I would say half as much as the laptop or almost 60-70% as much as the laptop so, okay, we have a little bit of problem here. Okay. okay, you put it inside this way first. Let's look at it. And it goes. Oh, smooth. Hmm. So as I said, I've already uh, unboxed it before. I'm just uh, unboxing it once again for you guys. Just switch it on for you. You can see the screen resolution. This indicator is quite uh, classy. Right, so the point is which gets just on here. Yeah? Okay. is being restarted so that's pretty much the laptop I guess you I won't need to start it up for you guys or not to figure out what this thing is right now so I'll say go buy this one if you really need an 11.6 inch netbook which is does not and let me tell you one thing after buying this netbook you'll realize that it does not really compromise on the screen size you don't feel like you're using a mini laptop it actually feels you are using quite some standard stuff especially with the HD LED screen and the speed is quite good as well with the AMD dual core processor although uh, writing up Windows 7 thing is a little bit Easy and uh, I won't really recommend uh, running very high versions of Windows 7 like Ultimate, but Windows 7 uh, Home Premium, let's say, will work fine if you, can, if you need to upgrade. So that's okay, and that's bye for now. This was my first update, so uh, forgive me if I've been a little boring or unprofessional in my way. Thank you, and have a happy buying time ahead. Okay, bye.